there. Right. I think it is now, right? Hi. Welcome to Make a Twitchy. We're going to put the Twitchy together electrically, and then we'll halfway put it together mechanically, but I think you can figure out the rest of the mechanical parts yourself. So what we do first is we find all of our parts. I've taken everything out of the box and servos out of their boxes, and we find these little bags here. We won't be needing these. Uh, these are our servo motors, and these are the wooden parts that the servo motors go into that we'll get to later. So these can also be put aside for now. And you have to get out your circuit board, your little block of, of header pins, and inside the battery case is all the rest of your electronic parts. That goes out, and we'll start soldering. Get your soldering iron hot, and you will also need solder, some sort of clipper, although this isn't critical, you can use nail clippers or something like that, and one small piece of wire if you've got it. If you don't, you can use an extra piece of one of the leads from later on. So it's pretty straightforward. You just take your part, look on the instructions to see which part goes where, and put the pins into the little holes, turn it over, get your hot soldering iron out and your solder and solder them together. Good dip you could get in closer on this, but I guess it doesn't matter. If you need help no learning how to solder, mm -hmm. there's tons of good beginning solder videos on Make Magazine's website. <laughs> that should cover that. <laughs> Iron works fine. A couple of these didn't go. Is that coming in focus? No. That's, that's in place. Okay. More parts. There's no particular order in which to do them, but uh, there is a particular place that you want to do them. I got solder on the pins of this LED. Oh, there we go. Make sure to put the LED in with the long lead on the correct side. The long lead goes to the round side of the imprint on the board, and the short lead goes to the flat side. There's also, it's difficult to see, a little flat part on the side of the LED here, which is what is being referenced on this board, although nobody can really most people can't really see those very well. Put in both LEDs. Turn it over. I'm holding it with my thumb. And bend the leads out a little bit so they don't fall out while you're working on them. Solder them in place.
Okay. Now, uh, I don't have any clippers with me, so I'm going to do the old uh, bend them back and forth till they break technique. <laughs> so, how do you like that? It doesn't always work. Sometimes one of them might get a little loose from doing that. So I just redo it. There, fine. This part can be a little confusing. This one has a, a front and back, and the imprint on the board has a thicker line on one side, and that is the representation of the back. So we put it in back facing out, like that. Solder it in place. Come on. Okay. This one came in a little bent, so I'm just gonna oop, hot bend it back. Deal with those later. You can also clip these down a little bit if they're in the way too much, and then you can clip them more later. These are the small capacitors. One of them goes, it's a little hard to see, right here where it says C1. Your shadow, yeah, that's a better term. Yeah, that's right good. There, where it says C1. Like that. Yeah. So. Bending the pins over. Another one of those goes right here next to the voltage regulator. big capacitor that has minus signs on one side and a short lead. On the board there are there's a plus and a minus so we put the minus signs toward the minus. And of course we solder it in. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Oh there we go. 